When visitors come to La Brea Tar Pits, they may not understand what they're going to see, or they may even have some misconceptions about what they'll find here. We really wanted to address those misconceptions. We think that augmented reality gives teachers a tool to use in their classroom or museum educators a tool to use in informal learning environments. What AR and VR, virtual reality, can do is it can take the student to places that they can't go on their own, maybe to the surface of the moon or under the ocean. What we were able to do here at La Brea Tar Pits was take them into the past. We really believe in teaching from our exhibits here. We know how important this site is. Um, it's one of the only places you can see the scientific process of excavation from start to finish in one place. That's super special. So we wanna make sure students and teachers understand where they are and what they're looking at and what they're experiencing. So we really try to teach directly from the exhibits here. What's really exciting about this experience that we've developed is that students of all ages are gonna be able to see Ice Age Los Angeles come to life. They're gonna understand how these fossils can teach us not only about the past, what these animals used to be like, they can even teach us about the future. I want people to get the feeling that the science that was collected here of the fossils in the ground come right up into the experience that they're seeing in front of them when they look through the augmented reality. They have that connection. When we have had people try the augmented reality experience here at La Brea Tar Pits, what we've noticed is it's very engrossing and very immersive. So sometimes when you walk through a museum, you may stop at an exhibit for 30 seconds or a minute. We've had people run through our augmented reality exhibit for 10, 15 minutes, and then they ask us if there's any more. There's something really magical about being able to see what these Ice Age animals would have looked like walking around and something they really can't get without an experience like this. So TAR AR is really going to bring Ice Age Los Angeles to life for learning communities in a way that we can't currently do without it. The most exciting thing about this project to me is about the collaboration that we have uh, between basically people who work on technology, people who work on educational practices, uh, and paleontologists. I think kind of that connection of everyone working together on this makes it really exciting. Like every day when we come in, there's a new idea and we're sharing a lot of knowledge back and forth. We chose to use augmented reality rather than virtual reality here because augmented reality allows you to be in the scene. And one of the unique things about this site about the uh, La Brea Tar Pit site is that you've got a museum that is right next to the actual source of all the material that they exhibit. So we want people to be immersed in that. Every single one of our AR animals is actually built off of one of the skeletons right here in the museum. We took a lot of images of all of the skeletons, compiled that with a huge amount of research that has been done both here at the Tar Pits and research that has been done elsewhere by other researchers on what these creatures like ate, how they moved, what they probably looked like, what their coloring was probably like. And we combined all of this research to make the best possible uh, sort of paleoartistic representations that we could, given the limitations of making low poly animals. A problem with conventional paleo art is that everybody expects it to look photoreal. And that means specifying things like the hair and the texture and so forth. But we often don't know that information from the fossil record. And so the artist just has to guess. With using uh, low poly images, we can be more abstract. We don't have to specify that. You learn something just by seeing the animals and seeing how they move, seeing how they walk, seeing how they interact with each other. We are really excited to use TAR AR as well as our fossil collection to help students build critical thinking skills and, and inference making skills that are really sometimes challenging to get to in the classroom with this primary source material that we have that we're excavating right here every day. 
With the Next Generation Science Standards, we're really trying to push science instruction into the scientific process. How do scientists actually do science? And so augmented reality can really help kids utilize the science and engineering practices in ways where they can develop models based upon virtual objects they might see and processes that they may have not been able to see in other circumstances. We want to be able to help children get excited about science and learn things about science and paleontology, but we also want adults and people at all phases of life to be able to learn more about this. Uh, that's one of the things that getting it out there to a lot of people to understand what science is about and how it comes from just looking at the evidence that in this case is right in the ground, uh, picking up and being able to analyze in the right way to be able to understand things about the past and sometimes more. I really see augmented reality as an additional part of a teacher's toolkit. I see it as a way for teachers to really spark curiosity and interest um, in science that's happening in front of students um, because it's able to help students see things that they might not always be able to see with their naked eye.